Welcome to the MSJ Morning Minute. I'm your host, Miles Harding. And I'm Nikki Lippert. Let's get right into the news. Look out, Lions. We have some fun activities happening on campus this week. Let's take a look at what's ahead. On Wednesday, we have Singo in the 5th 3rd Dining Hall from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. And then on Thursday, we have a Habit Club meeting, Student Organization Center in Harrington at noon. We also have Bible study in the Mosaic Center from 4 to 5 p.m., as well as a Student Government Association meeting in the Clifford Room at 5 p.m. And then looking down the road on Thursday, February 22nd, we have PAULS, which stands for Peers Advocating for Wellness and Safety. They are bringing in a national speaker, Mike Dormitz, on healthy relationships and consent. The Can I Kiss You program will take place in the MSJ Recital Hall from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Students are encouraged to attend. And today, guys, we have a special interview with the head of the theater department, Lauren Carr, who will be discussing the upcoming spring production, Marion, or the True Tale of Robin Hood. Let's head over to our correspondent, Macy, to get more information. Hi, my name is Macy Oak, and I'm here with Lauren Carr. I am the Director of Theater Arts. And we're here to tell you what's coming up this spring. So what's the spring theater show going to be this year? So we are doing Marion or the True Tale of Robin Hood by Adam Simkowitz. Okay, and what's that about? So it is your traditional Robin Hood story, so we're still exploring Nottingham and all of that. However, what's great about this story is that Robin Hood is and has always been Maid Marian. Okay. So we're just, it's got a little bit of a twist on it because she has to do what she's got to do in order to steal from the rich to give to the poor. Yeah, that's so interesting. And what made you decide this play? Well, one, it's, it's a great piece um, and it's a great way to showcase an ensemble and to bring in stage combat. Um, but also, this is one of the most banned shows right now. Really? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of like rather conservative districts that have been saying that the show is not acceptable. So um, Buffy Barkley kind of kind of pushed that and I was like, yeah, you know what? We'll do that one. Yeah, for sure. Well, that sounds so exciting. So mark your calendars, guys. It is going to be April 11th, 12th, 13th, and then the following weekend on the 19th and the 20th. All right, welcome back. Thank you, Lauren and Macy, for giving us a little insight about the upcoming play. The show will premiere April 11th, 12th, and the 13th, as well as the following weekend on the 19th and the 20th. Make sure you mark your calendars. You can't miss out. Now let's take a look at the weather this week. In comparison to the last few weeks, we are looking at a relatively warm one with temperatures reaching to the 60s. Mm. On Wednesday, it's mostly sunny with a high near 55. Thursday, it's partly sunny with a high near 60. Make sure you get out there today or tomorrow to enjoy this weather while you can. Absolutely. On Friday, rain likely, there is a 70% chance, mainly before 8 a.m. Mostly cloudy with a high near 61. On Saturday, there's a chance of rain before 8 a.m. Mostly sunny with a high near 58. Chance precipitation is 30%. On Sunday, there's a 30% chance of rain, partly sunny with a high near 53. And on Monday, there's a 50% chance of rain, partly sunny with a high near 51. Have your umbrellas ready. Mm -hmm. Another busy week is ahead for our winter sports. Let's check in on our teams around the mount. Men's basketball split their last two games, defeating Franklin College and losing to Earlham College. Their next two games are away and home, with one being on Wednesday at the Defiance College and the other on Saturday at home against Rose Hallman. Both games are the second of the series. And as for the women's team, they won their last two games, winning big against Franklin College and Earlham College. Their next two games are at home against Defiance College on Wednesday and against Rose Holman on Saturday. Our wrestling team will be back in action this week as they head to Manchester to compete in the HCAC duels this Thursday. And as for the track team, they competed at Anderson University this past Saturday. The men's team finished in fifth place out of nine teams, and the women's finished second out of nine teams. Their next meet is February 17th at home. Our men's volleyball team lost their last match to Eastern Minoet University. 
Their next game is at home against Lores College on February 17th. Another week and another opportunity to support our Lions. So make sure you get out there and do that. And with that being said, thank you for watching the MSJ Morning Minute. I'm your host, Miles Harding. And I'm Nikki Lippert. Signing, Signing out. out.